Hey, what's going on guys? It's Colin back with yet another FIFA 15 video and today we're going to be taking a look at the second to last episode of Trading to John Terry. Now today we make around 30k coins which is pretty incredible and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy this episode. So let's get into the trades. As you guys can see we have 32 items on the trade list and we have sold the Great L and Ward Prowzy from last episode. Ki Sung Young is still not selling but we do have this Andros Townsend. Uh, we bought him for 750 and we're looking to sell him on for 1500 coins, which is a nice double of our profit or a double of our coins. And yet again, we're going to be doing another, or, or sorry, more mass bidding with Hulk because he is just so good at trading with. Buy him for a thousand, sell him for at least two thousand, unless you're stupid like me and you buy it for 1600 because you still thought it's going for 2400. So, anyways, yeah, guys, we have a second Hulk here, which is going to be one of like maybe seven in this. Just this trade batch right here. So we have the Sif Seed, the 5-star Skiller from Dundee United, I think. But uh, we bought him for around 600 coins, trying to sell him on for 1,000. We have this Pasana, we bought it for 700, trying to sell him on for 1,700. I believe these trades were overnight. So uh, I did spend all my coins before I went to bed. And then when I woke up, I had almost what I had made back. I believe I did, I had surpassed it. But anyways, we have this Bae Ki Jong from the Korean League. With 93 pace at cam, which is amazing. We bought it for 250, you sell it on for 700. Not that great, but it's still some profit. And same with this Nathan Ock, okay, where we got to get on, let's sell him on for around 800 coins, I believe it is. Or 1,000 coins, you know, more than I thought we were going to sell for. Anyways, we're going to have more of these Hulks. Um, mass bidding is one of my favorite types of trading because it's a lot of quick profit, kind of like the 300 buy for, or buy for 300, sell for at least double in the mass bidding, and that is why I like it, because it's fast, easy coins, I don't know how much I can say it, but we're going to be listing up these hogs for 2,000 apiece, we might even edge it up 100 coins and go to 2,100, which is 100 extra coins, which is some good coins to work with, because if you sell 3, you can do the 300, buy for 700, um, method, which is pretty damn good, pretty damn tasty profit, if you ask me. So we're still listing up these hulks, you know, I probably should have sped this clip up more because this is just taking forever. But we're going into the the last hulk, if I'm not correct, there's two more, if my memory is still good. So we're going to list this one up for 2,000, that's the last of the page. We're going to go to Kim Quang Suck, we bought him for 400, and we're going to list him up for 700 coins, I believe. I believe this is one we listed for 700 coins, yes it is. We're going to list him up for 700 coins, and we're going to go with the 5 star Elton, and as you guys can see, something did sell, but I just... I'm unaware of what it is. I believe it was a Hulk. But anyways, we're going to get this Elton for 700, and we're going to sell it for 1700. He does have a team of season right now, which is pretty awesome. I want to try it. He's got like 94 pace and 5-star skills, which is pretty amazing. So we have this Colossus. He bought it for, we bought it for 550. We're going to sell him on for 2800, which is almost... No, yeah, it is over five times what we paid for it, which is pretty damn incredible. So we're going with this Kiate. We bought him for 600 coins. We're going to try to list him up for 2,000. And here's yet another Hulk. We're going to list this one up for 2,000 yet again after buying it for 1,700 coins, which isn't that much. But, uh, oh, 2,100, making more profit of it. And yes, I was right. It is yet another Hulk. For 1700 trying to sell them off for 2100 And guys, I believe they all do sell. So at least we make um, a small amount of coins. So anyway, we're going to go on to this Antonio Rudiger. We bought him for 33 We're going to list him up for 49 We got this Barahino or another Rudiger. It just lagged a little. But uh, we bought him for 3300 and we're going to sell him on for 4800 Undercutting ourselves, we got this Barahino. Uh, he used to go for 2000 coins, but he's really on the down low right now. Heading down. So we're going to let's double our coins at 700 after buying for 350 We have yet another Coculin from Arsenal. We bought him for 750, looking to sell him on for 1800, which is doubling our coins and some change. So, anyways, we're gonna let this eBay. No, another Coculin. I should really wait before I like to see what happens. So, we're gonna see bought him for 850 coins. We're gonna sell him on for 1700. Uh, I believe, if I'm correct, we did uh, undercut ourselves, but we have another Rudiger and we're gonna list him up for 5000 coins. We have a Kurt Zuma, the uh, French center back from Chelsea, who is quite overpowered, I believe, this year. But he goes for, we bought him for 3900. Uh, we're listing him for 5300, which is a tasty 1200 coin profit. We're gonna go with Ibe, Jordan Ibe, I think his name is. We bought him for 300, we're looking to sell him on for a thousand coins, which is 700 coins profit. We have a Danny Rose we bought for 650, looking to sell him on for, I believe, 1600, yep, 1600 coins, and, uh, yeah, that is not the end of the trades, I believe, it, actually, yes, it is, excuse me, okay, so as you guys can see, we have sold all 28 items, I, you know what, not all of them, I, 
if I'm correct, we still have two selling, if not three. But anyways, a lot of it sold, and we were up at 60,000 coins, or if it was either that, or 57,000 coins. Yes, I, Ake and Iba, eBay are still not selling, but they will go sell, and we have Aroyo, Aroyo, sorry. We have bought him for 1,200, looking to double our coins and some change at 2,800. The five-star skiller are from the Colombian League, I think it is, or the Mexican League. But anyways, we have another Antonio Rudiger. And we're looking to sell him on for 5,000 coins, making 1,200. Now, I bought these Milix, and they just... Actually, I'll get to that later. It's something that I, I think I either made a mistake on. So, we have an Antonio Ruder who's selling for 4,900. We're going on to this first Milik, the Polish striker from Ajax. Now, he used to be really good for trading. Uh, a lot of traders like Luke Connerton or other uh, players used to trade with him. Um, they had... Good success with him. He used to go for 8k, I think it was. But now he's kind of gone down due to price ranges at being capped at 5,000. Or 8,000, excuse me. But um, I tried a little price fixing. I didn't notice that I had bought one for 1,600 and one for 1,900. And the one I bought for 1,900 was 69 overall. The not upgraded one, 69. <laughs> so I, I, I listed that one up for a little cheaper. At least 500 coins cheaper than the last two. Undercutted ourselves on the second one, and we're gonna go with this Calvin, the five-star skiller, who is on loan in the Portuguese or in the Brazilian league, I believe. Um, so he's not not playing for Porto at the moment. So if you play online seasons, he won't be there, which kind of sucks because he's actually quite good. I've used him once before, and uh, we have two towels. We put listed two, one for 2,700. And we're going to list the other for 2,600. Undercutting ourselves by 100 coins. We have this is this one right here. The 2600 one does go on and sell, but the 2700 is yet to sell as of the recording, which is 7:30 the next day. So, anyways, we've got that Akora, Akore, and we sell them for 3500. As you guys can see, the Rudiger did go on sell, but this was a little bit of a mistake. My laptop did die. My recording software did crash, and then my computer died right after, which is kind of unfortunate, but we do list up a Lingaric and a Rudiger, and as I was restarting my computer, the Rudiger did go on sale, but we have a Durham, we listed him up for, I believe it was 4,800, if I'm incorrect, please do tell me in the comment sections below, but we have this Okora, we bought for 1,900, we're going to sell him for 3,300, this Rudiger, we bought for 4,600, we're going to list him on for 5,900 coins, making a tasty 1,300 coins profit. Now, we have a Lingaric, now these guys... They had a high bin for what I priced them at, but um, they're just not selling, which kind of sucks. You'll see later. But we have another Durham, and I bought it for 3,100 coins, and uh, we're going to list them up for 4,100 coins, which isn't that much. It's only 1,000, but uh, still pretty good coins if you consider the price range we're going for. So anyways, going into this Calvin, we bought it for 950, which is a really good deal for a player like Calvin. And we list them up for 2,800. Then we go into yet another Durham. I love these non-rare trades from Borussia Dortmund because they are so um, consistent. There's lots of them. You can pick up really great deals. As you see in the next batch, we pick up even more of them. So we go into the next um, Durham, he's in shadow, and we list him up at 4,800. Because of the shadow, the next cheapest was 5,200, which is not that bad. But uh, we undercut by 400 at 4,800, and he does go on and sell, which is pretty good. At, I believe, it was 1,700 coins profit. I don't know. That was like five seconds ago. So we list up another Rudiger at 5,800. His, his price fluctuates, considering that his price range is... Kind of high. So, anyways, we have a Royo. A Royo. He, uh, we bought it for 1400 Looking to sell him on for 2600 And the last trade of the batch is going to be a Durham at 3100 coins. And we're going to sell him on for 4100 coins, making 1000 coins. So, anyways, guys, that is, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Cool. The video's not over. But, uh, oh, Corey did go on and sell instantly. And as you guys can see, everything did go on and sell. The Durham's all sold. The one in Shadow went up for 4800 which is pretty damn good. And, uh, yeah, we got up a whole bunch of new players, and don't even pay attention to the ones that I'm looking at right now. The ones on the far right are for next episode, um, which I have planned out and recorded already. So if you guys are excited to pick up John Terry next episode, I hope you are. I'm excited because 90 overall John Terry, 50 pace is making me gag, but that 97 defense looks amazing. So anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy, because I enjoyed making it. And anyways, drop a like. It's always appreciated. Subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you guys later.